Didn't he own all the distances? He owned this one. Yeah, he owned them all, but this was the real difference maker, and he's done oh, it. What a beauty here. A chance for Tiger for par at the eighth. Tiger scrambling in there close. Par putt upcoming. And so that should be and was a conceded par for Beauregard. One shorter than this on the hole before. Got it. So he got in trouble on the left, came out, and still managed to keep his lead. Yeah, there's just a hint of an upslope right in front of that pin, Gary. And, and if you land it short, a lot of times it will check up. And if you challenge it, then all of a sudden it might bounce up, uh, bounce over the green. You almost have to land it exactly where he did, right in the top of that upslope. Yeah, very precise shot. Well played. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Just as you said, a little left to right break. Nicely done. Well, of course, I've always been a, a big proponent of trying to get as much information as you can. Uh, so I understand the player is wanting to do it. In his heyday. Well, it's a pretty good looking shot if it gets down. Right where he needed to hit it, but boy, has he got his hands full with that one. Yep, we've seen that. We saw Louis Oosthuizen earlier. That's from 72 yards. And again, that gives you an idea of that slope on that side of the green that Tiger will be dealing with, but that'll be a putt for bogey for Beauregard. Ooh, <laughs> this is downhill fast. Going to his left. Going to chip this ball, try to get it to dribble onto the green, but it's just going to swing it. Yep, you got to take it higher. You got to take a bigger risk to the right. Oh yeah, you could miss fringe. the green right. Yep. Sure, this is uh, he had nothing really. Twelve. While he was hitting, this was Beauregard for birdie, as we saw both their third shots, and Lucas rolls it in and puts the pressure on Tiger. It's a little bit of a downhill lie. Sounded I don't thin. think he got it all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it got up and got a big <laughs> forward up. Uh, turned out better than he thought. This beer guard is in good shape now. Yeah, it's definitely got more speed than Tigers. How about it? Whoa! What a time to make a putt. Nice looking putt. This kid is rock solid, Roger. It wouldn't be technically over if he stuffs this in there. This looks pretty good. Clutch shot by Beric. See, it's going to hit on that down slope. He's going to get that 15 footer from behind the hole. That's about as good as you can do. Exactly as he drew it up, Roger. He's not taking much time. Wow. That is so good. That's a pretty good shot. Playing it out to the right. It's not going back at all. And this crowd senses a Tiger tie here. No, not this time for Tiger. And Lucas Beauregard has pulled off the improbable, taking Tiger to the 18th and ending his week in Austin. Tiger, I know you're awfully disappointed over the outcome of the match in the last hole. Uh, 
but did this young man surprise you at all today? I know at this level everybody plays good, mm. but did he surprise you with his play? Oh, he hit it well. I mean, he hit a lot of good shots today. These are not easy conditions out here. The wind's all over the place, and um, he was flighting it well. I mean, his, I think his natural ball flight is pretty flat, and uh, it's advantageous and certainly in, in these conditions. Now, prior to you hitting that last mm. putt, we talked about what an awkward spot that mm. hole was placed. Did you see it that way? Uh, it didn't look odd to you because it looked like yeah, you misread well, the putt. Well, we read it inside, inside left, left center, and the putt went left. And I, I, you know, I went back and hit it again, and it did the same thing. So I don't know. It's just one of those weird, weird spots. They had a lot of difficult pins out there. Um, it is match play, and uh, they, they're going to put the pins a little bit more on the difficult side, and they did. And uh, we just got to, you know, hit good shots. Thanks for giving yeah, us your time. Much.